Samsung, Fossil, Motorola. These are the names that come to mind when you think about non-Apple smartwatches, with occasional cameos by conventional classics like Casio, Citizen, Montblanc. In this crowded establishment, the name Mobvoi doesn't exactly stand out. But this nine-year-old Beijing-based Google-backed company has delivered something none of those other brands yet has. A smartwatch with silicon powerful enough to run very well today and, hopefully, tomorrow too. The TicWatch E3 is a minimalist mid-range smartwatch. It's 44mm casing masquerading as metal, but in reality, plastic. That helps keep its weight down. It's 32 grams without the strap, which out of the box is a rubber job so forgettable that I decided to ditch it in favor of the leather band from my Moto 360. You can use any 20 millimeter strap you like. Thanks to a clever beveled edge on the case, the watch is slightly thicker than it seems, which helps make room for a microphone and a speaker that's fairly loud, but also raspy at max volume. Khan, Khan, you've got Genesis. But you don't have me. If you're going to kill me, Con, you're going to have to come down here. You're going to have to come down here. The casing is IP68 dust and water resistant, with NFC for Google Pay, and a heart rate and blood oxygen sensor around back. Don't let those features fool you, though. This is still a lower-end E-series tick watch, not one of the higher-end pros, so there are compromises. Like all Mobvoi timepieces, this one lacks the rotating crown that makes using Wear OS so much more enjoyable. Whether you're setting timers with greasy fingers in the kitchen or sweating through a summer sidewalk speedwalk, you just don't want to be forced into using a 1.3-inch touchscreen to scroll and select all the time. That watch face is LCD instead of OLED, so its saturation and contrast are just okay, and it maxes out at a mere 180 nits which you need to manually dial in because there's no auto brightness on board. And while there is an always on display, you don't want to use it unless you're prepared to charge the watch every night. With that feature disabled, this is a two day smartwatch at most, with recharging taking place via an included magnetic charger. That's straightforward enough. So far, I've described a smartwatch that's frankly outclassed by many of the smartwatches I've covered over the past couple of years, some of which now cost less than this one does. So why would anyone pay $199 for this smartwatch? Well, to future-proof it. The TicWatch E3 is one of only two smartwatches running Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 4100 system on a chip, and that's important for two reasons. For one, Google's Wear OS software platform is heavy. It demands a lot of processing power, ideally paired with a gig of RAM, and this watch has both. When I reviewed the only other device with that combination, the TicWatch Pro 3, I was so impressed by its performance that I titled that review, Wear OS Finally Works. And that same performance is in evidence on the E3. It's quick, it's consistent, and you can actually use features like Google Assistant without crippling amounts of lag. What's the shield frequency of the Enterprise? 257.4 megahertz. According to Quora, it was set to 257.4 megahertz when the Klingon bird of prey hit the Enterprise. Whoa, spoilers. The other reason the 4100 is important is because Google is about to totally revamp Wear OS when it reboots the platform in partnership with Samsung later in the year. And Google and its partners have been silent about whether watches running the older 3100 chipset will be compatible. Now, that's not a confirmed concrete refusal to upgrade those older watches, but you can't deny it's not a great sign for any watches currently on the market besides the TicWatch Pro 3 and E3. That's a nice position for Mobvoi to be in. And if you're interested in health tracking, the company has leaned heavily into that, with no fewer than nine preloaded applications for everything from high-intensity interval training to sleep tracking. But fitness-focused customers already have a lot of wearable options from established brands like Garmin. And the fitness features already built into Wear OS are just going to get more powerful once Google finishes integrating Fitbit, an acquisition it just completed in January. Given that competition, I just don't see Mobboy being able to compete in the health tracking space long term. 
So I wish it would focus on other areas. Manufacturers like Fossil Group have demonstrated that there is a market for smartwatches focused on aesthetics and brand partnerships, strategies that traditional timepieces have traded on for decades upon decades. As I said in my Casio G-Shock review recently, it's never been a worse time to buy a Google smartwatch. And on top of that, I'm just not sure I could ever advocate spending this amount of money on a plastic smartwatch of any kind. If at all possible, you should wait to do your smartwatch shopping until fall 2021. But if you can't, then technologically speaking, the only watches likely to age at all gracefully are those powered by the Snapdragon 4100. Get the TicWatch Pro 3 if you want more power, more endurance, and that very cool dual-layer display. Get the TicWatch E3 if you want to save 100 bucks. Both watches are on sale now. This review was produced following two weeks with a TicWatch E3 review sample provided by Mobvoi, but Mr. Mobile does not produce paid reviews. No compensation was accepted from and no editorial input was given to Mobvoi during the course of creating this content. They're seeing it for the first time right alongside you. Until next time, thanks for watching, keep being safe, and get that jab if you can so we can finally shut the door on this pandemic. And uh, once again, stay mobile, my friends.